Hello everyone, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. It's Saturday morning and as soon as I get done with this video, I'm going to get in the car and head down to Pensacola for the day. Just do a little, uh, run a few errands, do a little bit of shopping, start trying to uh, catch, get a few things that I need uh, before I take off and go to Costa Rica. Um, today's talk is going to be, let's get right into it, tapping into infinite intelligence. Um, I do videos every day, um, so if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd do so now. Hit that subscribe button, then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. I ordered a book just the other day, actually did a reading uh, from it based on it a few weeks back. You might remember, or actually it may have been longer than a few weeks now, it was about surrendering to the flow and how to get beyond... Uh, thinking and tap into the infinite intelligence. Well, I decided I needed to buy that book before I go to Costa Rica. I just kind of kept thinking about it, thinking about it, so I ordered it. And I was thinking it was gonna come in uh, via Amazon yesterday and I was gonna do that for my, do, pick out a reading from that. So I was kind of in that mindset, but it didn't come yesterday. Two packages did come with other stuff, but not that. So anyhow, I started, I was reading a little bit last night and I found just, you know, kind of doing some searches and whatever, and I found a couple of articles that I thought would um, be a good substitute for that. But when I get the book, I will definitely uh, do some readings from it. Like I say, I got two pieces here that I want. Some will overlap, but I just like, I really liked both of them. What is infinite intelligence? Infinite, infinite intelligence is the purest energy in the universe. It's in fact the total of all the energy in the universe contained within a single entity. As such, this single entity is able to interchange information and communicate with every aspect of itself at any time. It therefore holds within itself all the knowledge of the entire universe. And in fact, it could be said that it's the, the knowledge bank of all the collective information of the past, present, and future. This entity exists within everything because it is everything. It's within the largest galaxies as much as it is within the smallest of cells and subatomic particles. We are all connected to this infinite intelligence and therefore all connected to each other and to everything within the universe through this energy source. However, for the most part, we are not aware of this connection because we are not consciously tuned into it. Just like you need to tune into a specific radio station, so too you need to tune into this energy source in order to tap into its collective knowledge bank of information. Metaphysics is a branch of philosophy that attempts to understand the fundamental nature of being and the world that encompasses it. It wants to know what is there and what things are like. A study of metaphysics can help us to better understand this energy known as the infinite intelligence. Now, of course, this energy is infinite and intelligent. It's therefore eternal, adaptive, and changing. It's actually very much akin to the human body. Imagine this energy being you. Now, every cell within your body is also you. It's a small fragment of the whole you, but it contains within itself all aspects of who you are through your DNA. Moreover, every cell of your body intelligently communicates with every other cell of your body in order to support the whole you. Now imagine that you are the entire universe and that every cell in your body is a galaxy within that universe. Every galaxy appears to be separate and yet it is connected to the whole and in fact can communicate to the whole you, the universe. Digging even deeper, we have solar systems, planets, and human beings. All of these things are part of the cell, galax the galaxy, and as such are also one with the whole of the universe. Given all this, it's clear to see how we are all connected to this infinite intelligence. However, even though we are part of the singular force, we are still individuals. Just like every cell within your body serves a purpose, you too serve a purpose within this universal mind. By tapping into this infinite intelligence, you can successfully begin to draw opportunities to yourself for growth that is consistent with pre-programmed patterns of behavior that can help teach you the lessons you must learn for the attainment of your life's purpose. What this all means is that you came here to live on this earth with a purpose in mind, unknown to you. 
This purpose is a spiritual purpose identified as your personal legend. Tapping into this infinite intelligence helps you unlock opportunities for growth and development that allows you to fulfill that purpose, effectively revealing how you must proceed forward. These opportunities are, of course, tied to the pre-programmed patterns of behavior. These pre-programmed patterns are like a genetic code that has been shaping your life experiences through your struggles and joys. Given this, everything you have so far experienced in your life has served a purpose with helping you unlock your life's purpose, personal legend. However, it's only through tapping into this infinite intelligence can you unlock the true meaning of this purpose. And all of this course all of this, of course, comes through spiritual enlightenment via your inner mind and through the act of meditation. Once you're locked into this infinite intelligence, your answers will come through intuition via inspiration that is at times revealed through subtle signals within your body. Using these signals, you can effectively act upon ideas to help you fulfill your personal legend. That's a good explanation. Now this one will get, there'll be a little bit of repeat here, but here's some ways, five ways to access that infinite intelligence. If you can access the infinite intelligence, you will be able to receive solutions to all your problems and you will get the ideas that can make your dreams come true. Take a look at the lives of the most successful people and you will find what changed the entire course of their journey is a particular idea or inspiration. Some people think that these ideas are born within them. They fail to see the bigger purpose due to their egocentric approach, and that's why it doesn't happen to them that frequently. Whereas some people know that there is a higher intelligence present everywhere which rewards people with the information that can bring forth something into the world to make a change, and in the process, their success is also ensured. Creative people understand this well. There have been many writers and artists who have created their masterpiece from the inspiration they received in dreams, which is one common way to tap into the higher intelligence. What is infinite intelligence? It won't be incorrect if you will call it God, but for the sake of explanation, I would prefer to avoid any label that is associated with people's strongly held beliefs. Infinite intelligence is a power that carries out the creative process in the universe and its sole purpose is expansion. When I say creative process, I am also referring to the maintenance of all creations and the destruction of what has served its purpose in the universe. You can also call it as the collective consciousness, of which we are all constituents like the water drops in the ocean. This is the source from where you can get the information that will help you to progress in whatever way you want. But receiving the ideas from this unlimited source requires you to understand a few things because you can't directly tap into this magnificent creative power. In order to do that, you will have to build a good rapport with your subconscious mind. Let's see how. Subconscious mind and the superconscious mind. So far, we've been talking about this collective knowledge base, this unlimited source of creativity. Now let us see how the creative process works and our role in it. The creative power is present within all of us, but it is not a part of our consciousness. Instead, our con consciousness is a part of this stream. This is why it is also called as the superconscious mind. Let me explain this with one simple example. Suppose you have a source computer, infinite power, with internet connected to 10 computers, 10 people in your office through an LAN connection. Even though you have the internet, access to the creative power, available in each computer, still the internet connection is not a part of these 10 computers. Instead, these 10 computers are a part of the whole network. One more important thing you must understand <coughs> is that we cannot easily access this collective knowledge base because our conscious mind is not directly connected to this power. Our subconscious mind is able to download the information from this source, and then you should be able to bring it into your conscious awareness. Here's how the creative process works. First, you desire something and with the proper tools, you impress that idea into your subconscious mind. Now your subconscious mind taps into the unlimited database of the universe and receives the needed information. Once you have it in your subconscious mind, it either comes to your conscious awareness like a sudden realization, or you will have to deliberately work to bring it to your awareness using certain techniques. After that, 
If you trust the universe and act on that idea, you will be amazed by the results. But thousands of people fail at this particular step. Why? Because they fear to take actions. See, we are all constrained by our beliefs, so when we see things from our limited perspectives, often what is intended by the collective consciousness as the blueprint of our success appears as a futile thing to us. So I want you to understand that when you use these techniques, you will be getting ideas. And even though you may not be sure of it initially, taking actions is essential to see if it works or not. Gradually, you will get better at recognizing the voice of your inner guidance. In truth, we all have complete access to this collective consciousness always, and our subconscious mind is always receiving the solution to our problems. What we should aim to do is to bring this information to our conscious awareness. The methods I am now going to share with you here will help you do that. Techniques to receive messages from the infinite intelligence. Meditation. The major cause of our inability to hear our inner guidance is due to the voices inside our heads. Amen to that. The restlessness of the mind caused by the unwanted thoughts blocks our intuition. And if we could silence our thoughts somehow, it will become easy for us to bring the message received by our subconscious mind from the universal mind to our conscious awareness. Meditation helps you to calm down your mind and thus slows down the rate of uh, thoughts. As a result, you will be able to receive the inspirations. Two, mindfulness exercises. Mindfulness exercises increase your present moment awareness, and that means you will be able to detach yourself from your thoughts more frequently. As we have discussed, when you lessen the rate at which thoughts come to your mind, you open yourself to receive the insights that lead to you to success. Number three, free flow visualization. You might already be familiar with the above two methods, but here I want to bring to light an awesome technique that will help you to receive the ideas from the superconscious mind, and I call it the free flow visualization. If you have been exploring personal development materials, then you might be already knowing that the creative visualization process is a great tool for communicating your desires to the universe. But what most people don't know is that this technique can also be used for two-way communication. Free flow visualization is when you start to let go your control and allow the imagination to take its own shape gradually. What happens is that when you give up the control of your imagined scenario, your subconscious mind starts to write the story and in doing so, it often shows you the action plan. Number four, dream interpretation. Dreams, they are generated by our subconscious mind. Hence, you can use it to hear the voice of your inner mind. I'm not telling you to fret and worry about things by interpreting your dream as an indicator of your future events like most people do, but I just want you to become more interested in your dream world. This is something that made me, made me learn lucid dreaming. All you have to do is to set a strong intention to get solutions to your problems before sleeping and write your dreams in a journal when you wake up. This way you will be able to understand if the dream had any important message. Using my lucid dreaming skills to communicate with the infinite intelligence is something that I learned from Andrew Hol Holasek. He teaches the methods from Buddhist uh, traditions in it, and that is really something very powerful. And number five, self-hypnosis. If you want to communicate something to your subconscious mind, or if you want to bring something from your subconscious mind to your conscious awareness, self-hypnosis is a great tool for that. Let me show you a simple way to do this. Relax your body and mind by taking a few conscious deep breaths. Do a reverse count down from 10 to zero by imagining each number and feel yourself getting deeper and deeper into a trance-like state. Now when you feel totally relaxed, imagine a building named My Inner World, which is like a library, which contains all your memories, and now find the room where the mail is delivered. Get to this place and search for an envelope that contains the information you need. When you find it, Sit in a chair and read it. This could be your next action step. Leave the building and slowly start the countdown from zero to 10 now, which will bring you back to the fully conscious state. If you're new to things like meditation or self-hypnosis, then I would recommend you to try Christy Marie Sheldon's Heart Center Meditation. Christy Marie Sheldon's Heart Center Meditation, if you want to look that up. Um, but yeah. 
that was uh, that was some real interesting stuff to me, uh, getting into the superconscious uh, and the subconsciousness there. But um, I will, I hope that book will come in the next few days. And that one I'm uh, probably not going to read while I'm here in the states, as I have another couple of books ahead of me. But I'll take it with me, and we'll do some readings from it when I'm down in Costa Rica. But anyhow, hope you enjoyed that one today. Maybe got some new information, got a little bit of a different insight. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace.